Hey, how's it going guys? I'm bringing you another modding video. Um, but this video um, is actually a bit different than the uh, other one I posted because the other one you actually have to be in game to mod. This time around you have to be outside the game. You can't be in game to mod because if you're in game and you try to mod with this software, you're probably just going to mess up your saves and yeah, you're probably going to have to restart and nobody wants to do that. So when you download and i'm gonna leave the uh the software in the description so you can download it and use it so when you download um the uh, tool to mod basically it's gonna look like this now when you click on the link this is gonna pop up all you have to do is scroll down um and you can also use this for the pre sequel but we're not gonna we're gonna that's for another video for now you're gonna go to the uh, Borderlands 2 save editor and you're gonna click on that and then it's just gonna show you a couple of pictures here and um, you know you don't have to worry about that you're gonna click download latest release for from github so you're gonna click on that and then you're gonna click on the very top one after you download and it downloads you know all that um this is gonna pop up you're gonna go in there you're gonna extract which uh see if i can open it without causing any chaos yeah so you're gonna basically you're gonna extract all this extract all this and once you extract that this is gonna pop up and um, if you guys don't know how to extract, just let me know in the comments and um, I can just tell you guys there. But I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to extract a file. So just drag it here and then this is going to pop up. When this pops up, right now I'm hoping that you have a character you want to mod. Either a new character or an old character. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to open up the tool folder. You're going to click bin. And then you're going to see um, Handsome Jack's face here. You're going to double click on that. Then this is going to pop up. This is where you're going to have to remember like who's who and your saves. So here, I'll show you what I mean. So you're going to open, click, double click on that. So here. Now the good thing is, if you don't remember who they are, which you really can't tell, all you have to do is click on character and see this is the character I actually want to mine. Um, uh, all you have to do is click on whichever save and then go to character and if it, that's not the character you have to do is go back to opening and then click on whichever save you want to open and then open it until you get the one you want to mine. Right now my character is level 72. For the fun of it I'm going to show you guys that you can go back to like 70. Um, Let's see, power level eight. Uh, let's see, skill points. Let's do 120. But I don't think it actually gives you 120 all the way, but we'll see. And then vehicles, you can choose whatever skin you want. Just be careful because sometimes it makes your game go crazy. I don't have currency, so I'll just give myself like a bunch of credits. Um, fast travels you can unlock all these but just like I said like I'm saying be careful because sometimes it can ruin your saves and you don't want that but you can check all uncheck all it's up to you um, I'm not messing with that right now uh, let's see you can go to backpack this is where the fun begins because basically you can click new weapon and you can also go from any DLC but you can click new weapon for base game you can go here like click on the little arrow and then after that you can click on let's say you want to click on let's see let's do let's do sniper All right and then let's do legendary let's do that let's do level 72 
Actually, my character's level 70. My character would be level 70, so we'll do 70. Grip, everything needs to be the same. So, let's see. And then you can choose any elemental. I usually choose corrosive. Uh, let's see, damage, of course. This is only for pre circle. So, the pre circle uh, allows you to have another sorcery. Material um, and then title, you can choose whatever name you want, but I don't do that. And then we're just gonna do 70 as well, and then boom, you're done. Your weapon is done. Um, you can also do new items like basically any item. Uh, let's see, I'll just show you guys. Uh, you can do relics, class mods, grenade mods, mission items, shields, customizations, and you can do personal. But I'm not going to do any of that because I'm just trying to make this as sure as possible. After you have your gun made, you can basically just go back to character and make sure, you know, you got everything settled. Uh, let's see. This gun is low seven, right? Yeah. All right. And then you click save. And then you go here to the save that you opened. And then you click save. And then this is just going to say if you want to overwrite it. Exit, etc. Click OK, and then exit out. And then this is when you want to open up your game after you did all the modding that you wanted to do, and um, then it should work after that. So I'll catch you guys in game. All right. Once you're in game, you can finally see that you're level seventy, and that you have the currency that you wanted you also get the weapon and by the way you have to equip it so basically this only works when you're not in game because if you do this in game this can corrupt your files and then you're probably gonna have to restart which that won't be hard right you know you gotta make a new character give it the level you want etc etc you can give yourselves like i said grenades um grenade mods um class mods uh oh by the way i can actually actually show you that uh actually i can't show you that you get the skill points but that's because i already used the uh other software that i showed you guys on the other video that i posted that you know you can use uh all the skill points you want to get all you know all this stuff unlocked but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoy this video and Stay tuned for more because I'm going to be recording Rust as soon as possible. And, um, you know, just me and my friends raiding bases and stuff like that. Um, but there's a lot of other games that are coming. And I'm definitely going to uh, be recording R uh, Rage 2. So, yeah, stay tuned for that and catch you in the next video. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's